right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. You know who it is. You know where I am. I'm out here at the park. But check it out. We're bringing, I'm bringing y'all something a little bit different today. Um, more or less what I want to talk about is the 2K18 wish list. Now, we are far enough from the beginning of 2K18 to where some of these things may be able to be implemented, but close enough where, you know, they're wrapping up the game. And, you know, these should just be add-ons. One thing that I would like to see in the next game above everything, well, not even above everything else. There's a lot of things that we want to see. But one thing that I would really like to see in the next game is the ability to redistribute the points that your character has. Now, I know that's a lot for a lot of people. But what, let me let me understand you what I'm saying. I have a 6'4 six, six, uh, six, point guard, um, overall 89 right here, right? Now, let's say I go through here, 6'6 uh, six, six point guard playmaker. That should be set in stone. I shouldn't be able to change that because you don't want people cheesing up and down and, you know, making different characters. What I what I feel like I should be able to change is, let's say I put, like, the other day I put a last point in agility. If I put that last point in agility and I realize, you know what, that may have been better spent somewhere else, I should be able to go back and do that. Now, I don't, I already know what everybody's going to say, hey, you know, but 2K makes so much money off of, you know, you doing it. That's fine. I don't care about making another player. What people care about is the grind. 2K doesn't want your time, they want your money. So if 2K wants our money and not our time, I feel like an even swap, you know, just an even swap, a happy medium would be, uh, you know, you got you got Call of Duty where you can change and you can pull packs in between games. You got um, you got League of Legends where you can buy runes and masteries. I mean, buy your runes and then redistribute your masteries and things like that. You got uh, Mass Effect Andromeda where if you want to redo your character, once you spend all your points, you can you can either pull the uh, respect character cards out of packs uh, that you buy with in, either in-game currency or or cash, or you can just straight up buy a respect character. Um, I mean, a, a respect character uh, deal. I mean, as you see on the screen right now, I feel like we can do the same thing with 2K. People buy park guard packs any way you want us to buy packs. Why can't we buy a a re, re, a point redistribution key or something like that? Why can't we buy that? Either buy that out of the store for like 100,000 uh, coins or let us put it out of either my team pack or the other park guard packs. Now, so now you're going to do two things. 2K gets all the money because people be trying to pull those cards and or they will just they'll just say, hey, I don't want to I don't want to regrind this character. I just want to redistribute the points in a different way. I mean, I, I think that would be more than fair. So, uh, again, just to recap, I'm saying let's say if I if I have too many points in agility or like everybody figured out that you only need 70 uh, overall 70 moving shot shot out the dribble at most is all you really want to uh, really want to have or what have you like that, right? And I and I say, okay, I want to save some of those points. I don't want to put all the points in mid-range. I realize that the 70 mid-range is good enough. So all I want to do is go back and put them in strength and rebounding. You pay 100,000 VC or you put it out of a my team pack or, or a park cards pack, and you can just redistribute the points. I mean... A lot of people may say you can just make another character, but if I make another character, then I gotta grind the badges, I gotta go through my career again, and all that. 2K doesn't want your time, they want your money. I just think that's a happy medium. I don't know, you guys let me know. And, and plus, you can just grind that 100,000 VC up in the park, and, and I mean, that would be good too, or you can grind it up in, in Pro-Am. Because nobody wants to be making a new character for every patch. You know what I mean? 2K can, I mean, 2K is gonna get that 100,000 from us anyway. Most people just buy, you know, the initial 100,000 or 150,000 to get them to, to get them to the 86, 85, whatever, and then they do whatever they're gonna do from there. So, I don't know. It's just food for thought. 100,000 VC, and you can re redistribute the points in your character. I don't think it's cheesy. I don't think it's overpowered. I just think that once we get a better feel of the character and feel of the game, we should be able to go back and redistribute the points. And because you can't change your height, your weight, nor your position, nor your uh, art type, I think it'll be perfectly balanced because nobody cares how you have your points distributed. The only thing people look at is what art type you are. Like I said, man, y'all, I don't know, man. Y'all send it to Mike Wong, send it to Randy 2K. Let's see what we can do, man. I just think it's a good idea so we don't have to keep making other characters. I made one mistake with one point Charge me 100,000 VC. Don't charge me 300 hours of my life trying to get this guy back to how he was. I want my badges. 
you want my money. Fine. Happy medium. I don't know, man. It's just, it's just something to think about. Um, Y'all let me know what you guys think, and I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mode.